welcome back to our channel today we are going to break down how to create this effect it's called 3d paper cutout effect i'll guide you step by step how to recreate it if you don't know me my name is dima from studio snack and let's start without further ado all right we're in after effects and we have our clip First we duplicate our clip 6 times. For convenience, let's name each duplicate lawyer from 1 to 6. Select mask 1 and use the rectangle tool. Start creating a mask anywhere on the clip. For this video I'll focus on the main character, but you can highlight different details like glasses or eyes and more. If you are not satisfied, you can always edit, scale it a little bit and change the position. Repeat this for all six lawyers, selecting different parts of the clip for each. Once we have done select all masks, right click, go to transform and select center anchor point in lawyer center. This will make further adjustments easier. Next we add a camera and convert all lawyers to 3D. Now let's add a new view window to control our mask. You can choose any perspective you want like left side, top side or back side. I'll use the top view. Select mask 1 and position it anywhere closer to the camera. Use the left window to move it along the Z axis and the right window for the X or Y position. Do the same for all other masks, adjusting their positions along the X, Y and Z axis. Place them where you think they look best. You can achieve some really cool results, place it to anywhere you want. Once we have positioned all masks, let's animate the camera. Set keyframes at frame 1 for point of interest and position. Move to frame 15 and adjust the camera toward the main clip. Next go to camera options and enable depth of field. Set the keyframe at frame 1 for focus distance, then move to frame 15 and set it to 1653. Select all keyframes, press F9 on keyboard to easy ease, then open the graph editor and adjust the curves like I did. If your graph looks different, switch to edit speed graph. Now we have a smooth animation. Duplicate mask 1, rename the top copy to first main and the bottom copy to first paper. For the first main mask, add the add grain effect. Set viewing mode to final output, intensity to 1.5 and size to 0.5. Then add the rough and edges effect. Set type to rusty, border to 4.2, sharpness to 7 and scale to 13. For the first paper mask, add the simple choker effect and set chalk mate to like minus 18.5. Then add the fill effect and choose the white color. Next add the rough and edges effect. Set sharpness to 7 and scale to 13. Duplicate the rough and edges effect. Set type to rusty and border to 4.2. Add the drop shadow effect, set opacity to 80, distance to 0 and softness to 50. Repeat this process for each mask. Duplicate them, rename for clarity and copy the effects. For example, copy effects from first main to the second main and from first paper to second paper and so on. Create a new adjustment lawyer and call it shake. Add the transform effect, then click on the stopwatch with Alt or Option if you're on Mac, next to position and enter the expression I use. Also click on the stopwatch with Alt or Option near rotation and write this expression. Then add another transform effect and scale up by 1 to fill the frame completely. Create another adjustment lower and call it posterize and add the posterize time effect. Set frame rate to 12. For the main clip, add the curves effect and adjust it like I did. Then add the lumetri color effect, go to basic correction and set saturation to 150. Copy the lumetri color effect and apply it to all main mask lawyers. For the final paper texture, I'll use our premium paper toolkit, which contains over 200 different assets. Use the code DIMA for get a $5 discount. Add the paper texture above the main clip. Set blending mode to screen. 
then apply the curves effect and slightly lower to the curve as I did. And that's it, we have created this Avison 3D effect in just a few minutes. I'm sure you can find even more creative ways to use this 3D paper cutout effect. You can also add various transitions, some different textures and sound design from our website. Take your video to the next level. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment with your thoughts. See you in the next video. Good luck.